Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're, ans we're answering a question, what is the difference between 64-bit and 32-bit releases of SQL Server? Well, I'm going to tell you a couple differences. Uh, one big difference is that 64-bit um, uh, of SQL Server is compiled from Microsoft to run on 64-bit of operating system, uh, Windows operating system. Uh, if there is a 32-bit uh, Windows operating system and you try to install 64-bit uh, SQL Server, it will not let you allow, uh, uh, install that because uh, uh, it is compiled to run on 64-bit operating system. Uh, same as 32-bit, uh, uh, if backward compa compatibility on the operating system is uh, actually installed, you may be able to install 32-bit releases of SQL Server on 64-bit uh, uh, operating system, but um, it's uh, uh, compiled. It's compiled to run on 32-bit uh, uh, operating system. Um, if you install SQL Server, it comes in two flavors, 64-bit and 32-bit. You need to find out uh, what operating system that you're going to install SQL Server on. So if you're installing on 32-bit operating system, I would recommend you to go ahead and install 32-bit uh, um, uh, SQL Server uh, release. And if you're going to install on 64-bit, you need to get uh, uh, the SQL, uh, the ISO file or uh, SATA file 64-bit uh, of SQL Server. So that's uh, that's the main difference. There are a lot of other structural difference uh, between 64-bit and 32-bit releases. If you wanted to know more detail, you can go on Book Online and read much more detail uh, on between these two 64-bit uh, and 32-bit releases of SQL Server. I hope it helps.